Additional details on the upcoming Audi e-tron have been shared by the German automaker ahead of the crossover's debut on September 17. According to Audi, the e-tron will have two electric motors with a combined output of 265 kilowatts, about 355 horsepower, and 413 pounds to foot of torque. This level performance will be on tap for about 60 seconds, Audi says. While that limitation may seem a bit disappointing to performance-minded buyers, Audi says the vehicle will still be able to accelerate from a standstill to the electronically limited top speed of 200 km per hour, 124.3 miles per hour, several times consecutively without output losses. Additionally, the vehicle can be put into S mode, which will call up an extra 35 kilowatts of power and boost torque to 490 pounds to foot for roughly 8 seconds when the pedal is fully depressed. With S mode engaged, the e-tron will hustle from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 6 seconds. On the WLTP test cycle, which is more representative of real-world range than the outgoing NEB test cycle, the e-tron will have an estimated maximum driving range of 248.5 miles, or 400 kilometers. Key to this is the strong regenerative braking system, which contributes to roughly 30% of the e-tron's range. Audi recently tested the system out by descending the 19-mile road down Pikes Peak, an altitude of over 6,200 feet, and it fed so much energy back to the batteries that it recuperated all 19 miles of range it would have otherwise used. Audi says the regenerative braking system is rated at 220 kilowatts and 221 pounds to foot and making it more powerful than any other series production EVs regen system. The regenerative system can be adjusted via the steering wheel pedals. Three different degrees of coasting recuperation are available. On the lowest setting, the vehicle will coast with no additional drag when the driver releases the accelerator, just like a nice car. The highest setting will allow the driver to accelerate and slow down using only the accelerator pedal, similar to the Nissan Leaf C pedal mode, with the middle setting offering a slightly lesser degree of deceleration. The e-tron will only use the actual wheel brakes when the driver needs more than 0.3 grams of deceleration. Otherwise, pressing the brake pedal will slow the vehicle down using the regen system. Audi says the e-tron will have a seamless transition from the regenerative brakes to the wheel brakes. Depending on the driving situation, the electro-hydraulically integrated brake control system decides, electrically on each individual axle, whether the Audi e-tron prototype will decelerate using the electric motor, the wheel brake, or a combination of the two, the automaker explained in a release. The Audi e-tron, which is the German luxury automaker's first series production EV, will make its debut on September 17th in San Francisco. Stay tuned for full details on the fully electric crossover as they become available over the next month or so. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now.